Hi there and welcome to my weekly robot update. This is where I do a roundup of what's going on in the robot news around the world, so stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Philip English from Robofield.com and welcome to the Robot Weekly Update number 13. Today we're looking at firefighting. Oh, 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 hey. Ah, phew. Hotel staffing. Where's my towels? Yay. And hospital roaming robots. Where's my medication? Where's it gone? Where is it? US Navy unveils robotic firefighter. Shipboard procedures such as fire drills, onboard alarms and locking fire doors may have gone a long way to migrate the danger of fire at sea, but the US Navy is looking at new technology to help it battle the threat. Its latest solution is to send fire-resistant metal men into a smoky red-hot hold of its fiery-stricken warship, throwing fire-retarding grenades and assessing damage with a camera that can see through smoke. Called the Shipboard Autonomous Firefighting Robot that's safer, the team at the Office of Naval Research ONR choose a humanoid-type robot as the best way of negotiating narrow passageways, ladders and hatches all designed for human mobility of a modern warship. Safer stands 5 foot 10 inches tall and weighs 143 pounds. The unique mechanism designed on the robot equips it with superhuman range of motion to maneuver in complex spaces. The team equipped the robot with a suite of sensors that includes a camera, a gas sensor and a stereo infrared camera that will allow it to find its way through the choking black smoke that would deter human firefighters. Its upper body has been designed to manipulate fire suppressing equipment and even to throw propelled extinguishing agents. That's peat grenades. The robot says the developers can handle a fire hose on its own. With enough battery power for 30 minutes of firefighting, Safer is capable of walking in all directions, balancing in rough seas and stepping around obstacles. Check in to Japan's creepy robot hotel. The robot will check you in, take your bags and escort you to the room in a new Japanese hotel that hopes to free itself of human employees. The Hena Hotel, set in the middle of the theme park in Nagasaki, Japan, will become the first robot-staffed hotel when it opens this summer. These metal and silicon employees will speak and understand Chinese, Japanese, Korean and English, ensuring that tourists near and far can interact with these startling human-like maids, receptions and porters. They look human if a little addicted to Botox and fillers. The plans announced by the Japanese government at the end of January show off a prototype check-in counter lined with identical female. Japan love hotels often don't have human employees. The point is that the customer wants the option of discretion and privacy from the moment they step inside. They get their room code from the machine and pay at the machine. The challenge now will be to see if the robot can offer satisfactory customer service at the high-end Henna Hotel. Only 10 of the robots will be deployed at launch Three at the front desk, four porters, one at the coat check-in and the rest to clean. Ten humans will accompany them now, but the hotel says it hopes the robots will someday compromise 90% of the staff. The company is banking on the robot drawer and it's surprisingly low prices. Each room will start around $60 and will rise as demand does. They have little doubt that it will. A second structure that will double the available rooms is under construction for 2016, ready for the onslaught of visitors eager to test, taunt and likely be outsmarted by the metallic soon-to-be overlords. Hospital cuts costs with robots. Hospitals in the San Francisco Bay Area are using robots called tugs to take over many of the everyday tasks involved in tendering to patients. 
The bots are programmed to deliver food and drugs, pick up waste and laundry, and to travel the halls without crashing into people. The University of California San Francisco Hospital recently began using the machines and the nearby El Camino Hospital has had a fleet since 2009. Hospital administrators say the rolling electronic porters can help bring down the absurd cost of healthcare in America, mostly by limiting the ranks of hospital staff. The bots are not cutting existing jobs but rather are redirecting human labour to more fulfilling tasks and saving hospitals from having to add ex-additional staff. The tugs travel by using maps loaded into their brains and have other features such as biometric security measures to ensure the drugs they carry reach only the right doctors. They are also built to be cautious, they beep softly as they roll down hallways to warn people of their approach. Human hospital workers have already begun giving the robots childlike monikers, naming them after fruit or Disney characters. Costumes matching the names may be on the way. One hospital is already seeking Disney permission to dress one up like a robot from the movie Wall-E. That's it guys for your weekly World Robot News. I'm your host, Philip English. If you like this weekly report and want to see more of the latest robot news, reviews and robot tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date. I put further information about the robots in this weekly robot update in the links below, as well as extra web links for your review. If you have a robot product that you would like me to do a review on or do a tutorial for, then please ping me over a message in the comments section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys, looking forward to see you next time.